everyone. We'll call the meeting to order at 6 30. First item on the agenda is the invocation. Do we have uh, anybody here to give the invocation this evening? All right, so summer, summer vacation. Uh, that'll bring us to the Pledge of Allegiance. And uh, given everything uh, that has been done in the past 24 hours, really the past uh, six, seven months, I'd like to ask the clerk. I understand it may be a little bit slow, and I realize you may be a little tired. To the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Say yes. yes. All opposed say no. Yes, the Senate motion carried. Item 5.2 is a motion to approve the exceptions to the minutes of the meeting held July 16, 2024, and dispense with oral reading. Motion. Support. Motion by Councilman Witten, supported by Councilman Bradana. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say yes. 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 All opposed say no. Yes, the Senate motion carried. That brings us to the mayor's communication. Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Item 6.1 is a motion to approve the first reading of the amendment to the Code, code of Ordinances, Chapter 2, Administration, Article 3, Division 3, Standards of Conduct. Is there a motion? Motion. Support. Motion by Councilman Brandana, supported by Councilman Johnson. Is there any discussion? Chair, back on January 25th, I sent uh, a memo to all the council members explaining what the changes are. The, basically, the changes are in three areas. Um, the first is to be consistent with the donations policy that this council approved um, last year, I think. Um, in that, there are certain gifts we didn't know, we, didn't, we don't want to be considered an ethics violation. For example, the Rotary um, gives a scholarship created those exceptions that to be consistent with the uh, city donation policy that's already been adopted. <clears throat> the other change was had to do with the um, process for filing an ethics complaint. Um, the old ordinance said, well, the ordinance that's currently existing says that any complaint against uh, anyone, any elected official in the city would come to the corporation council. Um, but what happens if Assume that's a possibility. Um, I put in there to have an alternative method by which uh, someone wants to file a complaint instead of coming to the Corporation Council, they can either go directly to um, the chair of the City Council, Mr. Geis, or they can go to the Ethics Board, assuming we have one in place. And then the last change, which we've talked about previously, is changing that part of the ordinance that currently requires or be unanimous vote of the city council to place anybody on the ethics board. Uh, the change would make that uh, to be a simple majority of the council to appoint people to the ethics board. Um, that's the way it's done in, in most other cities. Um, I know Allen Park does that, Livonia does that, um, and there's really no need to have unanimous approval of the entire council to appoint somebody to a board. And we, obviously that's been an issue. Questions? Chairman? Councilor. Um, I do just have a few questions. So, um, on page 
conflict, like, you know, when I took office, there were some issues of people being on the tip of board that I did not ask to come back because I thought there was a little bit of a conflict there. But there is no restriction of that. If they live in the city and they're not an employee of the city, there's nothing that says they can't be on there. I also noticed that in the event of a vacancy, it states now that the appointments would then be made by the board instead of coming before council or the mayor. Is that my understanding? In the event of a vacancy, the board of ethics shall appoint a member to fill the vacancy? For the remainder of that term, yeah. That's not changed. 